Hey everyone, it's Alan Schimmel, DevOps.com, DevOps TV, and we are here at the Does 17 in San Francisco, DevOps Enterprise Summit. I'm joined by two friends of mine, actually, from the DevOps world. To my immediate right is the man behind the book. Actually, several books. Lots of books. Yeah. Well-known DevOps author and DevOps evangelist, as well as DevOps innovator. All right. Gary Groover. Hi, Alan. Great to be here. Great to be here, Gary. You're joining us from Ski Country. Yeah, it's well, starting to be that started. time of the year. It is. You got that look in your eye like, <laughs> yeah. I'd, rather be, <laughs> I'd, rather I'd rather be skiing. Well, no, I'd rather be helping people, but if there isn't somebody lined up to help, well, there's yeah. other options. That's true. <laughs> maybe you could do like a combined ski and DevOps, DevOps. workshop. Yeah. yeah, maybe. That's an idea. Yeah, get people Probably not a big valley. seller in Boca Raton, but yeah, nevertheless, a big, a big seller. And to my far right is another good friend of mine. Sam Fell, the marketing guy at Electric Cloud. And Electric Cloud is uh, the founding sponsor of the DevOps Enterprise That's Summit. That's right. Yep. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having, thanks for you being here, Sam. And Sam, uh, we were just talking off camera about a great workshop that Electric Cloud is sponsoring and Gary is yeah. running the day after does for people who want to stay maybe half a day later on leading the transformation, which was the title second of one book. of your books, yeah, right? Book. Yeah. But it's also kind of really where your niche is, right? And, and yeah, hel helping people figure out how to get the transformation going. And then I'm also leveraging my last book, which is Starting and Scaling DevOps and Enterprise, to really help people understand how to get going. They come out of here all excited. They come out of here all engaged. They've seen a lot of good ideas. Let's start to put this into practice. Let's start to get, create a framework that they can use to take it back and figure out what changes they can be making that will have the biggest benefit to their organization. And Sam, you, you had mentioned the workshop is sold out. Yep, yep. So we made this as a partnership with the IT Rev folks, as all the stuff is. Uh, is We wanted to make sure, as Gary mentioned, that once people were done with listening to, oh my gosh, look at all the great things people are doing, how do I go back and do that same thing? Um, we put registration codes on the Eventbrite or on the Cvent for people to buy tickets, and it's part of the overall program. Um, we're not collecting a whole lot of money from people. It's $300 for people to come to a half day workshop with Gary Groover. Gary charges quite a bit more money for that when he does these things on his own. Uh, but Electric Cloud, we didn't want to make any money. Um, we didn't want to uh, make this uh, burdensome for people who wanted to come and try and learn. Um, we just wanted to cover the costs for the food and the beverage for the hotel. And then any extra proceeds that we get, Gary and Electric Cloud are gonna be donating back to the DevOps Enterprise Summit. Uh, there's a scholarship that's being created uh, for students who want to come to DevOps Enterprise Summit 18 next year, they'll be able to join us and uh, uh, be at the show for free, which is fantastic. So we're excited to do that, and we're happy to partner with Gary to make that happen. Yeah, should be fun. Yeah, fantastic, guys. And this is Thursday after. And Thursday then, morning. Thursday after people who are watching this, if they wanted to catch another workshop, or you know, where where else are you doing workshops? You know, you guys? can sign up for my newsletter, and if I get to your city. I'll try to let you know when I'm there. How, or, how would one sign up for your newsletter? Uh, go to GaryGroover.com, okay. and uh, you can download a free copy of my latest book, Starting Scaling DevOps and Enterprise. Scroll down to the end of the sample, sign up for the newsletter, and then you get a free copy of the ebook um, for yourself. That's fantastic. Thanks, yeah. Gary. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Sam, good move from Electric Cloud, Electric Cloud to do that. And, I don't think you mentioned about the scholarship, did you? I did. Yeah. I absolutely mentioned it. Oh, you did? It. Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make yeah. sure we emphasize that. We've got that a lot of great advisors working uh, with us at Electric Cloud, Gary being one of them, one mm -hmm. of the original ones. Uh, and so from our perspective, to be able to tap into a brain like that, uh, I mean, what are you covering in the workshop? What's some of the high-level bullets? Well, what I find in the enterprise is a lot of people hear definitions of DevOps and they hear different things that people have done. And if you're a small or if you're in a large even a large enterprise that has a loosely coupled architecture and you have teams of five to seven to ten people that can independently develop qualify and deploy code you kind of need to do things one way but if you're in a very large organization that has a tightly coupled architecture where you're coordinating the work of hundreds of people you need a different approach to doing devops and i try to walk through and help people understand why those differences exist mm -hmm. and how do you approach one versus the other so they can put in context their problem. And then we'll take and try to segment those things and we try to make the problem as small as we can, but if your architecture is coupled, you still need to deal with that reality. And then we start to map out that deployment pipeline and get people in the process of trying to figure out 
how is their current deployment pipeline working? What, how do they design it? And then we send them off to collect some metrics that would be helpful for them to figure out what are the changes that they can make that would have the biggest benefit right off the bat? Because I really feel like what's important in these transformations is you need to create some positive momentum. You need to get people excited. You need to some create some yeah. bandwidth to sort of have extra breathing room to get more of it done. Mm -hmm. And if you start with the problem that's having the biggest impact on their business, you're going to get that momentum and make it happen. So this is all about trying to help them understand it, understand the practices, and figure out which practices that are going to help them the most. Fantastic. Good stuff. Guys, we're going to call it a wrap because we are under the gun here today, okay. trying right. to get as many no videos okay. done. Gary, hey, yeah. man, it's always a pleasure to yeah, see yeah. you. It's good to see you. No plans for a new book, huh? I hate to write. You hate to write. I yeah, it's do. ski season. Maybe after <laughs> ski yeah, season. Yeah, you know, but, but the, my last one, it, the ski area closed. I started, and All it was right. published before it opened. So, we'll yeah. look for something <laughs> in the summer from Gary. Anyway, Sam, as always, a pleasure to have you here. Thank you. This is Alan Schimmel, DevOps.com, DevOps TV, here at DevOps Enterprise Summit 2017.